My interest in 19th century European painting and sculpture comes from the fact that it is at that moment in history, um, in Europe, where sort of the modern world as we know it begins. It's a very familiar time. So kind of before 1850, politics are still being worked out all over the place. There are, you know, basically what we would consider, consider like uncivilized society happens beforehand. And, and for, for all intents and purposes, it's, it's kind of the, the middle to late 19th century, 19th century where modernity happens. And it's, it's a way of life I feel like we can all relate to. And it's right at the beginning of it that interests me so much. It's the transition from you know, rural society to an urban one, where cities started to become the way we know them now. It's a transition where our, our psyches in a way, so the way we think and the way we feel in groups, in cities, um, changes from being um, more, let's say, tribal, where you're with your family or you're working on your farm, and now you're in an urban area and you're, you know, you're dealing with strangers and people like that otherwise wouldn't have been really in your existence before. I mean, you would have known everybody in your little village, and now we're in an era that you don't know everybody. You don't necessarily know your neighbor, and I think that that time period, because it, it, as it, I should say, as it happens. It, it's very interesting, interesting to me how that transition occurs. And I feel like it's really, it's one of those things where it's easy to, to relate to that time period, even though it's 150 years ago, essentially.